here we have to calculate the effective resistance between the points A and B and the value of all the resistances are smaller. Now to solve this we will use the symmetry rule that is say there is an axis this is an axis this is point C and D and it goes through the point center O now if we see the symmetry about this axis there are mirror symmetry that is if we consider a mirror along the line CD then the left hand side and the right hand side are the mirror image of each other if this kind of symmetry exists then the current that flows to the left that is if say this is the current I1 flowing through this resistance then the same current will flow through this resistance also that is I1 if the current here is I2 then the same current will flow in this direction that is I2 if the current is here is I3 then the same current will flow through this resistance that is I3 so the currents that is I2 is flowing from this resistance to this resistance and as if it doesn't touch that is they doesn't touch at O now if we draw the figure again so the currents now see in this figure so the currents is same that is as if it this card this line doesn't touch it goes like this and this line also doesn't touch O and it goes like this and this current flows through this so these two resistances small r and r they are in series because the same current flows through this and so the equivalent of these r and r is 2r and this is in parallel with this now say this point is c and this point is d this now between c and d is 1 by r c d is equal to 1 by r plus 1 by 2r and r c d will be 2r square divided by 3r that is 2 third of r so between c and d the equivalent resistance is 2 third r and similarly between these two points e and f the one resistance is r and another is r and r 2r they are in series r plus r that is 2r and r in series so r e f is equal to 2 third r same now and now if we draw the figure again that is let's say this point is a and this point is b so there is a resistance r and r that is 2r between a and b between a and b 2r another is between a to e this is r and between e and f that is 2 by 3r and again between f and b is r so r plus r plus 2 third r this is equal to r plus r plus 2 third r between a and b that is r 2 third r plus r and between a and c there is another resistance small r and between c and d this is 2 third r and this is r so this is r 2 third of r and r now this the equivalent of r plus 2 by 3 r plus r is equal to r plus 2 by 3 r plus r that is 2 r so this is equal to 8 r by 3 now 8 r by 3 this is 8 by 3 r and this is also 8 by 3 r now these three resistances are in parallel so the equivalent of this that is 1 by r a b is equal to 1 by 2 r plus 3 by 8 r plus 3 by 8 r now lcm is 8 r so this is 4 plus 6 this is equal to 10 by 8 r this is equal to 5 by 4 r so r a b is equal to 4 by 5 r so the equivalent resistance between point a and b is 4 by 5 r 